Okay, we are going to do the week four automata tutorial. If my camera will keep working. Okay, these are the parts you got in your kit. You've got the bottom to the clothespin. Okay, it's got one hole right through right there. You've got the top of the clothespin. It's got a hole for your dowel, a hole there, and a hole here. You've got your dowel, which has a set of holes 90 degrees apart. Okay, Let's see if we can get to focus better. There you go. And then it's got a slit up here so that you can put whatever you design in the slit if you choose. It's got one paper clip. You only need one for the project, but there, I think I gave out a few handfuls, so I'm hoping you have extra if you need them. And then a piece of sandpaper. The sandpaper is just, if you want a little nicer edges, you could sand it to get the edges you want. That's all. Okay, let's see if I can get this up a little better. Okay, so first, and I don't have the bird on me to show you the automated, but and we'll see it in the end. Okay, so first you're going to take and just open up the clothespin. The ones I got at Walmart have a little plastic coating. It's not a big deal, makes absolutely no difference. I just leave it on. Okay, now you take whatever end, it doesn't matter, and you're just going to turn a circle, okay? Okay, so there you go, you got a circle. I'm sorry, my videography isn't so grand, but it's what I can do. So, okay. Now, I was having them cut this in class, but you can just put the whole thing through. You want to put it through. You see there's a bottom hole and a top hole. They're in nine degrees apart. You want to do it through the bottom hole, okay? You just put it through and... I really am sorry my videoing isn't better. You put it through and you just bend the end so it stays in your dowel. These jewelry pliers are not the best ones. Okay, so that's it. You just bend it so it stays in your dowel. And then cut it because you're gonna keep making different parts out of this wire. Okay. Okay, now you're going to make the piece that goes through your bottom, okay? Now you just need to take and make two 90 degree turns, okay? Two 90 degree turns. About yay big. Put it through here. Now it's best if this kind of bottom to the L shape is in the center of the curved piece. Okay. So, and it's just a paper clip, easy to bend, I promise. Okay, and then bend that. So again, just so it stays in, in the slot. And then cut it off. Okay. Now, which part do we do? Um, I like the L piece, this piece on the bottom, to go to the end, if not a little further, okay? So you can make this part a little longer. Now, let's put this dowel in. So, so you have the circle piece on the bottom, on the bottom hole of the dowel. Through this top hole is where you're going to put it on the top of the clothespin, okay? So you can see the holes in the top of the clothespin and the holes in the dowel. You're just going to put it in and kind of line it up. Oh, oh no. All right, take two. <laughs> you just, I don't think I had anybody snap in class, but I have extras. So you just put it in here. And if you want to take your sandpaper and make it the top of the clothespin a little bigger, so that your dowel goes through there easier, you sure can. And you just take your wire and you put it through the hole, through the dowel. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little to get it 
to go all the way through wherever your other hole. Oh, did it again. I did not happen in class, but it sure happened at home, isn't it? Okay, so through here. I knew I would do it a second time just because that's the luck, isn't it? Through here. Through the dowel. And then through the other side of the clothespin. There you go. Okay. Like that. Through the dowel, through the other side of the clothespin. And just like the other ones, you're just going to turn it and it just keeps it in place. Especially if yours broke, which I don't think anybody's in class did, but if you had kind of rotten luck like I did. Okay, now you've got your dowel, it pivots on that. If you want it to pivot more, you can sand this down a little more. Um, okay, now this is the bottom, this is the top. Now this is the only tricky part, I think. You're going to have to get this L-shaped piece, remember that one? And get it through that hole, because that's what pulls it up and down, okay? Oh! <laughs> Boy, I did it backwards. I apologize. When you put your doll in, <laughs> this video is going to need editing. Um, you're going to need to make sure that the hole is towards the um, towards the back of the paper clip. Unlike me, who didn't make sure of that. Okay. Towards the back of the paper clip. This is the, what we like to call the right way. Okay, and then you put your your paper clip back through. Use your finger this way. Through there, through there. And the more you use your pliers on. The paper clip the more likely it is to break so I really try not to screw up but it's a good one to screw up on it's pretty forgiving okay okay and again you just <laughs> if you didn't mess up you're not gonna be right there but you just turn it so that it stays in place okay now now let's do it the right way Okay, now this L shape is going to go through that hole, okay? It's not too hard, just through that hole. Now, if you made it a little longer than you needed, you can bend it again, sorry, you can bend it again in order to make sure that it stays on. You don't have to, you don't wanna bend it too much if you do bend it, cause you don't want it to catch on anything else, okay? But you can. Now you just hold your paper clip together and you just pull it back into shape. Okay, so the spring here, you just lift it up and break your fingernail and get it into place. Okay. <laughs> This one's being harder than they were in class. There we go. Okay. Now, when you open the paper clip, the dowel bends forward. Okay. The, see, I have my bend in there, so it's making it so the paper clip can't go all the way down. So, if you need to fix that, you sure can just bend it or cut it or. Now, mine will bend more. Okay. Now, if you put a bird on there, it sure really does go quite a bit because it's further up. So, there's the Automata from this week's class. 
This hole is so you can put another piece of wire through. <sighs> there we go. I put a piece through and I just bent it and then hot glued it into place and you can put a little bug on so that when you go like this, it looks like the bird pecks at a bug. Um, my son did a dragon one that was really cool. So he put, um, he put a dragon face and he hot glued it right here. And then he put flames on this. And the dragon's mouth was open. So when you went like this, it looked like flames were shooting out of the mouth. It's a really cool, really easy one. If you have any problems at all, please let me know. And I'm more than happy to help. This is our basic clothespin automata. And there are some other really fun clothespin ones on, um, on, on Pinterest. So if you want to look those up, they have... Um, like a dinosaur one and there's a dog one that he bows his head and I was thinking trying to do a frog one if I do I'll I'll show you but I haven't figured that one out yet got a seed in my mind before I can make it okay thank you very much students have fun and I hope you enjoy the latest automata